this is a Bintech presentation that will go through um, creating a four uh, bend hoop. Uh, the issue that we're going to try to resolve here is the issue of trying to find apex points. Uh, apex points sometimes are very difficult. In release 7 we have added some additional ways to locate bends via tangents of the bend. So that's the start of the bend. So this is going to be a little bit of a presentation that kind of goes through setting up how to in fact get the numbers out of your uh, out of your vehicle for the cage and, and create the bend tech part. So first of all we're, we are going to make a four bend hoop. With this particular example um, the two legs going up from the floor are going to be uh, straight up. They're not going to be pitched or uh, in towards the center or pitched towards the back or front. They're just going to go straight up. Um, what, uh, and so the first thing we're going to have to do is find out how wide our A pillar needs to be, or, or I mean our main hoop needs to be. Now uh, please keep in mind that um, the software does use center line of tube, so you're going to have to uh, subtract not only the small distance you want between the uh, inside of your car, and you also have to subtract half your diameter from each side. Uh, so just just keep that in mind. So the first thing I like to do is find out what the overall width of our main hoop has to be. So to do that, I'll take a tape measure, measure across, subtract both the um, uh, distance between the tube and the and the uh, inside the car uh, from each side, as well as subtract the diameter. So let's say we did that, and we came up with a distance of I want to make it easy myself 48 inches. So if, what I'll do then with that number 48 is I'm going to divide it in half or go 24 inches each direction. So I'll apply a point there and I'll apply a point to the right 24 inches. So that's my two base points of my hoop. Next thing I'll do is find out from the floor from the, how high I need the hoop to go. So we'll go measure that again subtracting off the distance of half your diameter of your tube plus the small amount of distance you want between the roof and the and the top of the tube. So let's say I did that and I came up with a number of 32 inches. So I'll, first thing I'll do is clear values, go to my ceiling 32 and I'll come come right off my my, my base point here. So I'll apply that. Um, next thing I'll, I'll do is within my car itself on the roof is I'll measure across so that I can put an actual mark on on the roof. Okay, And then what I'll do is I'll go out and I'll uh, find an elbow. Uh, basically create an elbow in my bender, bend it to 90 degrees, mark exactly where the start of the tube is, and also leave about a 4-6 inch piece so it's an elbow with a leg on it, more like almost like a J-shape. Um, and then I can use that, that leg to put my um, uh, 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 my level on to, to make sure I'm coming in at the right angle. So what I mean by that is, as you can see here, here's an elbow shape and you have a mark where your bend starts and I can use this flat edge. So with that, what I'll do is I'll actually go inside my car and place that elbow about where I, I'm going to want it to be vertically. And, and then according to that line, I'll find out how far up from the floor that that line is. And I'll go ahead and locate that point. So let's say I've done that, and, I'll, and I find I'll f I locate that in the car. I find that the, the line on that on that elbow. Let's go 22. So with that, I'll go ahead and I'll locate that point. I will locate one on both sides. So I'm assuming this is going to be symmetrical. Do the same thing over here on this side. So that gives me my start of my bend or my tangency of the bend. That, so my my tube's going to come straight up. That's the start of my bend. Now, I'll do the same thing with that, with that elbow, and I'll lay it across on my, on my roof inside, and I'll find out where the start of the bend is from left to right, and I'll get our measure from that line we drew, in our, drew up on our ceiling and measure how far over that is. Let's say we've done that, and we've um, uh, come up with the value that that, that, that uh, distance is over um, uh, 14 inches. So I'll select that point like this, apply that, and I'll do the same thing to the right because I'm assuming it's symmetrical again. Now that I've done that, I have my four points for the tangencies or starts of my bends. And so let's go, go ahead and show how we would make a part within Bentec with this information. What we'll do is we'll say we have a bent part. There's four bends. I'll start off by picking one of my, my base points. And when I come up to here, this is not my apex or the intersection of the two straight tubes. This is the start, the tangency of my bend. So with that, what I'll do is I'll change my bend mode 
over to tangent start and select that point. Now I'm going to pull it up here. Now this isn't going to be tangent start. This is actually tangent and because the, 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 the material is going to come up here and then start bending and then come over to my, my point. So this is actually the end of it considering that we're drawing this part in a clockwise fashion. So I'm going to jump up here to bend mode and change it to tangent and and then select that point. I'll jump up here and change it back to tangent start because again clocking around the part this way this will be our start point of that or tangency of that uh, uh, bend. I'll jump back up here and go tangent end again like this and then it automatically switches back to apex between each pick so this will be the end of the tube is also considered an apex. So that's all there is to it. So it's a great quick way to get the information that you need and the numbers that you need to create a part within the uh, Bentec Release 7 assembly.